what's up, guys and girls? <laughs> Hi, it's Alonja here. Arr. Yeah, I just like making fun of the some of the ridiculous ads and bullshit people that come on YouTube and uh, yeah. I just, yeah. Yeah, just, Hil Hilton's okay, but, you know, that other guy. Hi, guys and gals. I'm Jason Bond. Whatever. Almost annoying. Anyhow, so got into a trade yesterday and got in at this candle, not this candle, got in right here on this candle. Um, It was a 2.5, 2.6 gap. Uh, it came in right above my bid line, about a pip and a half, maybe a maybe a full pip and I was kind of disturbed about that because that was not a volatile time where where, where is this right here any kind of volatile in it of any kind where where I don't get it so anyway ask my broker ask my account manager Oh, they said, oh, well, you have a, it was a volatile time. No, it wasn't. The market's moving is just as bad as it was here. So I'm going to try to make a trade again for the second time this morning uh, to see if that was true or not. So let's get... Um, Show the ask line. There we go. So here we go. We got that little bitty line right there. Now if that if my trade opens up above that line, which is like sitting at right at a pip, even at right now, if I, if it was equal to the asking line. Um, or the uh, current price line, then we would have some issues. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to do it for a penny. Ten cents, really. Oh, it looked like it did it. So here's to complaining about this shit. you got to watch out for packs. Pax is is out to get you severely, um, and and here's why: um, because at any given point, they can any broker can uh, widen the spread or or do anything, uh, and so they found a way to manipulate uh, your account in any given moment, any given time to uh, get whatever profit that they're getting. It, I, I don't know. I don't care. Uh, but yesterday, that particular trade uh, was not volatile. It was just the same as it was here. Made the trade. Nothing happening. And I made a little, you know, I made a little bit of money on it. So, what seems to be the problem that after I complained about it, is it now that it's fixed? So, I caught them once again, whether or not I was underneath an introducing broker account, because that's where I got introduced it to uh, PAX Forex. Uh, but however, 
um, this this is not acceptable uh, to a for a broker. Uh, this is not acceptable any at any point is this acceptable that I keep finding myself making trades and I'm getting into these trades a pip more or pip less or what than what I should be getting into um, it's it's ridiculous I mean if the um indicator that I have uh, my status monitor if it says it's a point six spread point seven spread whenever I open my trade that should be what it should be. It should let me know that, hey, you're going to have a, you know, X amount of spread. And by the way, guys, I don't care if you've seen all of those uh, indicators. I'm going to tell you right now, those indicators are false. False as hell. They're yeah, I don't even want to get into indicators. Um, they're useless. Um, but it's a matter of opinion, and I understand you have your opinion, so don't post your opinion, because I don't care. Um, anyhow, so here we are at seven minutes into this video. I got Pax4X telling me that, oh, it was a volatile... It wasn't volatile, but yet they turned around and fixed it after I complained. Bullshit. I'm so pissed off at this this runaround shit. And, and I'm going to keep catching them. I'm going to keep calling them out. And they're going to fix the problem. And we're going to have... We're, we're going to have this uh, situation fixed. So, uh, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to make another video strictly for uh, withdrawal process okay uh, get, I'll get back to you guys in here in a few minutes